In this video, we're going to be looking at how to download and install the Xcode and actually using the Xcode. And uh, there are two ways you can download the Xcode. Um, you can download it from the Apple website or you can install it through the um, the App Store, uh, which is free because like uh, I think like a year or a year and a half ago, you will actually pay to download it from the App Store, but it was free from Apple website. So, and um, uh, one thing I just realized as well right now is that uh, if you actually go to developer.apple.com website, and uh, because if you if you're not already registered as a developer, you can you register without having to pay anything. So register yourself as a developer. I think is uh, is worth it because you have a lot of resources and a lot of downloads that you can do, such as this Xcode. But it's not necessary to actually be a registered member to download Xcode. So, um, uh, but if you want to log in, uh, I mean, if you log in, then you have this button that says Download Xcode for. But initially, you will be able to, I mean, that was in the past, you'll be able to download this one separately from the way you can download it from the App Store. But now, if you click on Download button, it actually tells you to view it in the Mac App Store. So that means the only way to download it now is through the Mac App Store, which is, I think, is fine because it's actually the best way. And the reason is because it gets itself um, updated regularly from there rather than you coming here all the time to uh, look for updates. So I think it's best to actually. So let's go to the Mac App Store now and search for Xcode. So if you type Xcode in the um, search box and press enter, that will be the first one on the list and um, just uh, install it currently we are on the uh, version 4.5.2 which is um, uh, as a support for the recent iPad mini and the iPad with retina display the fourth generation iPad so and download it is very easy because I've already installed it said install on my system if you haven't uh, click on install put your username and password and um, one final thing I want to say is that uh, once it is installed, make sure that uh, you um, inc just uh, make sure you put the uh, the icon in the dock um, on your icon tray so that uh, you have a quick access to it. So that rather than always going to the um, to the application area to look for the icon for the S code because you'll be using it um, constantly, so it's best to put it there. Um, so that's all I want to talk about now and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to actually write our first code. So see you then.